At the heart of every microcontroller design, there is a central processing unit. It's sometimes called the processor core, or even just simply, the core. The core is an important part of the microcontroller because its hardware determines the microcontroller's performance level. RX is a revolutionary new core developed by the world's number one microcontroller supplier, Renaissance Electronics. With up to 165 DMIPS at 100 MHz, RX supports floating point operations and has built-in digital signal processing capabilities. RX is also an extremely efficient core, enabling up to 28% code size reductions. In other words, with RX, it is possible to obtain performance without sacrifice. The 32-bit RX central processing unit uses an enhanced Harvard bus with separate instruction and operand buses going to both flash and SRAM. The CPU also integrates a single precision 32-bit floating point unit which performs complex nonlinear math in fewer clock cycles, reduces code and data size, and simplifies code development. Let's take a look now at the unique RX instruction set. The RX instruction set contains eight types of instructions. There are 30 instructions for arithmetic and logic operations, five instructions for bit manipulations, and nine instructions for system manipulations. In total, the RX instruction set includes 89 instructions, and over half of these are single clock instructions. The RX instructions are variable length, with the exact length depending on the data size and the addressing mode used. Let's take a look at the move instruction as an example. The move instruction can be used to do an immediate placement of data into a register. Let's take a look at the case of placing 32-bit data into a register. The instruction consists of an opcode, the 32-bit data, and the location of the destination register. The instruction length is 6 bytes. When the instruction is processed, the 32-bit data is moved into the destination register. Direct, memory, two memory moves can also be accomplished with RX. The instruction again consists of the opcode, the source register, and the destination register. And when the instruction is processed, the data at the location and memory pointed to by the source register is moved to the location and memory pointed to by the destination register. Direct memory to memory moves have an instruction length of only two bytes. As we've seen with RX, it's possible to perform a direct memory to memory move, and the corresponding move instruction is only two bytes long. If we compare that to a traditional RISC architecture, we can see that load and store instructions are required, which even in architectures that have compact instructions of two bytes, still requires four bytes of code. With this one example, you can start to see the benefit of RX's CISC-like abilities. Performing direct memory operations allow RX to avoid lengthy load and store operations typical of RISC architectures, thereby resulting in smaller code size. Today's demanding embedded designs require solutions which offer the combination of major improvements in both performance and efficiency. With RX, you get performance without sacrifice. Let RX be the core difference in your design.